Uh, it's nice to finally have a game, you know. It's been uh, a long uh, year, you know, taking on this new job and, and preparing this team. And to finally have an opponent in an official game was uh, exciting. I was very happy that the players showed up and did what we asked, and that was purely play as a, as, as a team with relentless effort that just, you know, they never stopped, I thought. I thought the effort from the top to the bottom, starters to the backups, you know, they gave it everything they had, great energy today, and, you know, we came out with a, a nice win to start the season. Um, I think uh, we can put this one behind us and start to focus on the next one uh, starting now. All right, Mara, if you want to lead us off for questions, go ahead. I feel like these guys just uh, carried that chip on their shoulder that they've had and been chomping at the bit to get out there and, and carried it out there today. I, I think they were just trying to prove to themselves that, that, that uh, they could play and execute what the coaches wanted, you know, like, and that's what really our focus is, you know, know your role and do your job, right? So if everybody does that, I think the team has success and that's certainly what they did today. They, they knew their role, they executed and they did their job. So it was a great team win and like I said, uh, time to move on to a, a much better opponent in, in Maryland and uh, it, it should be interesting what we get there. Anish? Coach, before the season you talked about how chemistry was something that you were really harping on from your players. Um, 16 of your goals today came off assists. Uh, one even came from, you know, Tucker putting his hand behind his back and scoring. Um, but how do you think you guys were able to use creativity and chemistry today just to score 28 goals? Well, I think the, the, the unselfish play was the key. We want ball movement. We want you to not force opportunities, but, but take what's given to you and, you know, make that extra pass on offense. And I thought, you know, especially in that first half, they executed very well, shot well, and, uh, you know, that chemistry starting to show. But, you know, the real chemistry gets tested when you, you, you play in a much closer game and you, you have ups and downs and you, you have to recover and rebound. So we're going to see, uh, you know, we'll get tested much more in the future and we're looking forward to it. And Mikey was integral in, in, in passing the ball around at first, but then he started shooting on his own as well. How do you think he was doing in that spot that Owen had um, in the start of the attack? I thought, I thought Mikey stepped in and did a great job, you know. He, like they all, the entire attack did. Uh, I, I, like I said, I was very happy with their shooting percentage and their, their effort. They didn't take bad shots, and, and the result was a uh, high percentage of goals on their shots on goal. Nate and then Dean. Yeah, Gary, how, uh, what did it mean to, to visit with your, your former coach before the game? Oh, uh, it, it was awesome, you know. Coach Simmons is the reason I'm here, and it's certainly, the, you know, I think the reason why I have this opportunity, the, the opportunity he provided me, my brother, uh, to come to Syracuse and, and play lacrosse, it, it was amazing, and, and you know, I, I can honestly say, and I've told people this before, it, it, I never thought this could ever be a thing, and, and it took, you know, time and, and and just a lot of uh, hard work, and uh, and all of a sudden I can't believe, you know, if you'd asked me when I was in college, would, you know, would you think you'd ever be the head coach of Syracuse, I would have absolutely said no. You know, coaching wasn't necessarily what I what I dreamed about or knew about, just because in in Canada growing up, it's a, it was always a volunteer job, so it was never a full time job, and uh, to make that my uh, part of my life was amazing and, and I owe a ton to Coach Simmons and to be able to go up there and thank him in person uh, with COVID and everything was was uh, one of the highlights of the day. I, I noticed uh, on your on your whiteboard in the locker room before the game you have kind of a minute by minute uh, schedule and at 1136 uh, you take four minutes and photo in the locker room and breathe. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't in there. I was like, how is people get in our locker room? Yeah, it's a, yeah. 
Uh, but I guess you take four minutes, if I'm right, you take four minutes at 11.36 to, uh, to breathe. <laughs> uh, that, that was what was written on the board. What, what were you thinking about in those four minutes? Well, you know, it's, it's an opportunity for our players to clear their heads and focus on the game and, and visualize, you know, their performance. And, and, you know, it's just part of uh, the mental side of the game is, is to make sure you're focused and prepared before you start. And uh, it, it's part of our daily routine uh, before practices, and it's just something we continue for the games. But what was what was on your mind in those four minutes? Oh, those four minutes. Well, I I, I did my uh, I did my uh, uh, re relaxation and visualization uh, earlier in the day, so I, I was taken care of. I just uh, you know took the time with the coaches to make sure we were all set and focused, and the, and the players, you know, when when I uh, you know I focused on execution and. And, you know, seeing the players do what they do and, and you know what, pretty much what I thought about uh, happened today, so it was great. Great. Thanks. Dean? Hey, Gary, the decision to start Bobby and then split time with Harrison in the second half, is that something that you knew you were going to do going into today? And how do you see that position shaping out for a game like Maryland coming up? Oh, you know, we're going to talk about it, but uh, I thought both goalies played outstanding. Um, you know, it's like I said, with, with Bobby Gavin joining the team, it gives us depth at that position. Uh, Harrison Thompson, uh, you know, was outstanding in the fall and had kind of garnered that starting spot. And then and Gavin came in and, and, you know, made it tough. And they're both outstanding, but so they give us depth. So we'll talk as a staff and we'll decide the direction we want to go for Maryland and uh, take it from there. Jesse? I go so seven players on your team scored their first collegiate goal today. Mikey Berkman, first collegiate goal, first collegiate Patrick. Talk about the, the young guys in this one and what they were doing right. Well, you know, they were moving the ball, they were playing unselfish, you know, that that's really the key is, you know. It, it, it's never individual effort that really gets you those goals or those opportunities. It's fast breaks, it's ball movement, it's drawing a double from someone else and moving the ball through X. There's so many ways. So, um, But those young people all stepped up. They got opportunities and they finished their shots and they made passes. And, uh, you know, it was, it was fun to watch. And to have that many guys have their, their first opportunity to put the ball in the back, uh, it's nice to see you're always happy for him as a coach. Tommy and then uh, Alex. Hey, Coach, congrats on the first jump. Uh, is there anything new you learned about your group of guys today now that you finally got to really see them in a, in a real game? Well, the, the first thing is I'm just happy they didn't play down to the, the competition, as, as people say. They... They focused on what they needed to do. So, you know, you always hope that's the case. So I don't know if it's something you learned that new, but uh, I'm certainly happy they stepped up and executed the challenge that was in front of them. So uh, just happy with the way they played. Alex? Yeah, can you, can you talk about um, kind of the importance of the face-offs today? And obviously with Jacob and uh, Jake kind of splitting air and Jack kind of splitting up uh, some time um, with the draws. Kind of what do you see from that? And uh, you know, I guess going forward, are they going to be splitting uh, splitting time like that as well? You know, he's, Jacob Fops our, our number one faceoff guy. I think he went 15 for 18. And uh, you no, know, I think the way the score went and the way the you know the game was going, it was an opportunity to. Uh, Play, uh, play those uh, other guys in, in Savage and Fine and give them some experience. And, and I think it really helped Savage. I think he had a bit of a slow start. But uh, after he got five or six face-offs in, he started having some success. So, um, you know, we may need those guys down the road, but uh, certainly our, our number one guy is uh, Jacob Fopp, and he, he was outstanding today. Last two for Coach Gay. We'll start with Kate. Hey, Coach Gay, congrats on the first win. Thank you. 
you obviously have won a lot of games as a player. You've won a lot of games on the sideline as a head coach for the women. But I just want to know, how does it feel to get this first win under your belt as the head coach of the men's team? Uh, it's awesome, you know, to come out and, and have this opportunity, be the head coach, and, you know, this this just makes it real, you know, that you actually have a 1-0 and record now, and you can build from there knowing that you got, uh, what, the number two and the number one team in the country coming up the next two weeks, and uh, you know that you're going to do a lot more work and prepare and, and hopefully give your team a chance, so... I'm happy to get the W, and uh, you know, as I told my team, for me, I, it's never the first win of the year; it's always the last one. My motto is win the last game of your year. Thank you. And then, uh, last question: We'll go back to Anish. Coach, um, yes, yeah, so you were talking earlier just about the chemistry and the unselfishness, but um, could you just talk about Owen, Tucker, and Brandon and their ability to work in isolation um, to score some of the goals today? Well, I think Brendan, uh, you know, set the tone for us. You know, he, he's come back. He, he wants to have a great year. He wants the teams to have success. He wants to get to a Final Four. He wants to win a championship. And he showed that from the first time he stepped on the field, you know, uh, taking advantage of the opportunities they gave us right away. He put the ball in the back of the net, set the tone uh, for the rest of the team to follow. So... The good thing is we were able to rest them a little bit after the first half and, and, you know, really really give those guys a break. But, you know, for a half to just over a half a play, they played outstanding.